wonder what they're like. From our viewpoint, Professor, they're either superhuman or subhuman. Hey guys. Hello friends. Yeah, Ernum Ernum Vault. I've seen it a million times. So Yeah. Traditional matchup, yeah. Um yeah, I honestly don't understand what's going through Jim's mind, but I do know that this game is over as Will has a good draw and Ancestral, and he was already an 92% favorite anyway, so that should, that should lock the game up. Just to get out, uh, just to get out in front, thanks to the people in chat telling me I'm muted, I clicked the wrong button. Uh, just to get out in front of everything here, um, Will is definitely our favorite here on commentary. So <laughs> if we're a little biased, uh, that's why. Though I will I'm agree with you, he's absolutely a favorite here. Well, well, he's a favorite in a vacuum. He ancestral to go up to 97%, but Jim, Jim ancestral back to get back down to 88%. Mm -hmm. I just don't know if we're supposed to be in lo love or hate a Twitter Vault deck with Urnums in it. I think we're supposed to love it, but I actually think I hate it. I mean, it's a way to win the game with Twiddle Vault that's better than like just sort of jerking off for 20 minutes while your opponent sits there yawning. So there's you that. Three? Can, you, can you just play like one or I guess maybe two in case your one is at the very bottom or whatever? But why do you need three? I just, I don't. Well, that I don't know, but. He's playing this in lieu of a fireball, right? But he actually doesn't even have a main deck brain geyser, which is the craziest thing. So I just have no, um, It'd be an interesting chat with him about this deck. I wonder if somebody mm -hmm. somewhere has a podcast that they could do that. I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't know. Do, do people even listen to podcasts anymore? I don't. I don't honestly, I don't know. Or should um, I say, do people even release podcasts anymore? Not often. They don't. <laughs> and when they do, it's usually about like pre-modern and cube. Utter nonsense. Yes. Yeah. So exactly. we'll uh, we'll just continuing to step on the gas pedal here uh, while Jim struggles a little bit on mana. Yeah, he does. I, he did he. I don't know if he actually discarded. He, he did, did he main phase ancestral. Yeah, and, and then he that? and then he had to discard because he didn't hit land or mana source. Oh well, he had to main phase it because he can't wait for he can't wait to for counter spell. So that's mm -hmm. why he discarded a useless Urnum Gen. So that actually doesn't even count as a discard. So, so now I, don't I guess think there's only two useless Urnum Gen. Right, right. Now his deck's closer to correct. <laughs> but oh, will will oh. just lay yeah will just laying out the the power here and. Jim just perfect matchup to draw your city of brasses and the damage is is basically moot. I know he's playing random Jim, but like, come on, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. It's just really hard. He has no protection. Jim has two counter spells and a drain. He has no protection because he plays the random gins, and so he has to just like go for it. As I think, yeah, he can't wait. The longer he waits, the worse it gets. Mm -hmm. So, and he's not setting up any of the pieces to go for it. And Will Smart, he knows to disenchant Howling Minds on site. He um, and you know wait. If for, if for whatever reason Twiddle or the Vault comes into play, he knows to not just raw dog disenchant it to wait for an untap effect or something. So he's seasoned in this matchup. It's just going to be a very uphill battle for Jim. Yep. But, you know, good good run for Jim. Make it yeah, all man, top, to top eight, eight. with Urnum Vault is impressive. Coming to an old school tournament near you by people who don't know how to pilot it. <laughs> yeah. It might be better for them because they might just jam a turn three Urnum and just attack and win. Yeah, <laughs> just accidentally play an Urnum and yeah, end up winning. Yeah, yeah. 
It's like when the deck just randomly lotuses out a Star Angel on turn one and, you know, whatever, you know, the swords. Yeah, attack attack five times and game's over. Yeah. All right, so we're going to recall back. That's not resolving. Yeah. No, okay. absolutely not. Okay, drain. All right, but drain did trade for a kind of medium spell. Ancestral is good because it provides leverage in that way, right? It lets him trade recalls for counters mm -hmm. instead of, like, more important pieces. But it just has... He still has four more counters and four more disenchants to fight through. And an active orb on the table. Yeah, I mean, Jesus Christ. He has no yeah. disenchants in his deck. Yeah. The orb is the really concerning part, I think. Just, yeah, on top of all... Oh, God. Oh, no, oh, sorry. God. That's actually the really concerning <laughs> you part. Spoke, you spoke three <laughs> seconds too soon. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Will was just ahead of me. Oh, no. Well, there we go. <laughs> A little casual time walk action. Twister. Oh, God. Good God. Now, generally, you don't ever want to Time Twister against Twiddle Vault decks, but with a Time Walk on the stack and a Library in play and Jim, you know, with no artifacts in play, it feels fine to me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is, uh, he's he's taking more turns than the Twiddle Vault deck. That seems to be a problem. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is, uh, that's quite something. And I am look very at Will's curious. Graveyard. Yeah. Just look at Will's Graveyard. Okay. <laughs> Ancestral Drain, Time Walk, Time Twister. I don't know if graveyards get a lot better than that. I guess it usually involves Black Lotus, but that's just about that's just a gorgeous looking four restricted blue card graveyard. Yeah, yeah. And we're twiddling? What? Oh, oh take a point. Take, take a, point. a point. Yeah. Heads up play by Jim. Yeah. I mean when it's all you can do, right? You have the mana, you got the card in hand, you're about to draw seven anyway. Oh yeah, he, and he can't bluff any zero casting cost cards. I guess he could. He could ancest if he draws his ancestral again. Will Will could easily tap out during his free turn, because he knows that he's going to be able to untap for his time walk turn. So he might be able to sneak an ancestral through, but now he now he can't. I don't know if it's worth that, but yeah, actually, I feel like probably. Is. I mean, I think he's angling for any edge he can get right now. So, I. I the odds are a little against him, what with a 56 card library, but... So just twiddling twiddling his uh, City of Brasses is, is, uh, is his plan? Well, plan I or? think the comment in chat <laughs> might tap library instead to stop the extra card for a turn. Uh, probably a little bit of a better tag than one point of damage. That's also a, match also that's a very reasonable one by one point. Play. Also, did that recall get shuffled in, I feel like? Well, the recall got countered, so... Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. So, no resolution on which to exile it. Yes, you are correct. Mm -hmm. And yes, of all the things to do with that mana, nothing, tapping city, tapping library, tapping city feels like probably the worst one. I think it's probably equitable to nothing, but... Yeah, it's right around nothing, yeah, yeah. but... Do you know what the deal is with that strip that Will has? Because that's not Yellen's signature. Hmm... No. Yeah. Sign. It says something for wheel. I, I don't know what it is. I do know that he has leveled up his his altars and sign cards in whatever game over the last couple of years to the point where almost all of his cards now yeah, are, have a lot. And they have lots of little artist altars. He has those cities. He got his swords done at Lobster Con. His counters done recently. Um, they all have little, little doodads by the artist drawn on them. He's really into that stuff now. Good for him. It's a, you know, it makes a good-looking deck look even better, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just an absolute pile of card advantage here. How do you make yeah, a draw seven feel was, worse? The only thing he was missing... Is he going to just play a tome? I guess. I guess you, mm -hmm. you kind of have to, but... When you're this far ahead and you have the orb there to counteract... Most of what your opponent plays, you've got two blue mana up. There's a, there's a small window for him. Like, he's only really able... He, he has a Chaos Orb activation and one, one Counterspell slash Disenchant. So if, if Jim ever has a shot, it's this moment. Um, it's a very, very long shot. But this is the turn that he needs to do it, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah, he has to he just move to... all in. Move all in and hope. Yeah. I don't even know what that means with a Chaos Orb on the board, though. Well, that's the thing, right? It's like, what... With your four, possibly five, or maybe more, because you just got twistered, mana, what are you really angling for here? 
Glasses. Oh boy. He was not angling. I think you're angling for mind twist because Will could easily not have a counter spell, right? He probably has a yep. counter spell or a disenchant. Yeah, he didn't have a counter spell, so I think nope. that you're angling for. Um, he did have two disenchant effects, but. But he can only play one, so like, mm -hmm. so mind twist here is is very big. Like Lotus mind twist probably almost almost gets him there. It might. You were right. I think this is his one his one window, but. Now the glasses let him know. Lot. Yeah. And plus glasses makes the stream much better, right? Because now we can see everything they're doing. So it's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Now we know what Will's holding and we know what we're, yeah. you know, we know what we're expecting. It just makes it more fun. It's like a hand cam in poker, right? Like poker yeah. streams before that thing were just brutal. Yeah. Streams it's actually really poker. neat to, uh, to have that. Part of me wants to just like, put glasses in play you know for commentary yeah. purposes like jim is really doing us a solid by drawing these glasses during a lot of his top 16 matches for games mm -hmm. i mean it, I, I will okay time walk See, this is this is like a very good start for him he's um, stringing together more than i thought he was going to be able to will just shrugs because that's all he has i think is he gonna just play like a howling mine and get it disenchanted he's a demonic tutor for mind twist, okay. This yeah. is it. Yeah. It's still but, the problem is he's gonna be able to ancestral and go up to a bunch more cards and mm -hmm. have a tome on his turn, so it's not everything, but it is exactly what he needed to happen. One, two, three, four, five, six, he'll have mm -hmm. access to seven mana next turn. And will go without up to a eight cards. cards. Right. So. so he's not gonna get everything, but he's gonna get a big chunk of it. Mm-hmm. And that's 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 mind twist, right? Sometimes you leave him with the worst card in their hand, sometimes you leave him with the best card in their hand. Yeah, and there's two, there's two that he really wants to hit here. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we played that glasses as bait. Maybe Will will disenchant the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of, I mean, you got to respect it. It's one of my absolute favorite cards in all of, all of Magic and, and especially old school glasses. Okay, dude, he, he could wow. be doing this. Wow, yeah. We are, we are certainly getting a, a turn here. <laughs> He's gonna play his ancestral now. Yeah. Okay. So we're, we're he seeking... has to do that because he could have he could draw a counter spell and that that changes everything obviously. But yep. But nope. Okay. Let's see what happens. I don't, honestly don't even think that you did he, wait. So did he tutor? I guess I forgot that he just tutored. Did he tutor for ancestral and not mind twist. He must have had mind twist. I'm hoping so. Or he's found a different line that we don't... But, but now he only has access to one one thing. Either a Chaos Orb activation or a Disenchant slash Counterspell. Yep. And it's possible he does something. But he had to draw a gas that one turn that Will was shields down-ish. Yep. All right. And so now we're going to see Recall so Lotus Bolt. He's dead. He has one... He's not dead, but he only has one thing he can do. A Disenchant or an Orb. Uh -huh. So if Jim can, can get this going... If Jim can get this well, going, I'm going to be stunned because I know. it was a hell of a start from Will. Yeah, but I mean, Jim just drew like at straight fire off of that mm -hmm. twister, right? That's time the outside of twister, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he drew his best cards, right? Glasses, tutor, time walk. Yep, yep. Couldn't could not have been much better. Uh, those draws. So I mean, the only thing that could have been better is if glasses were literally any other card. That well, yeah, but. <laughs> It let him know that the shields were down, so... Yeah, but normally that would be helpful, but he has to jam, I think, anyway. But yeah, that's fair. He can't let Will attack. Will, this turn, Will can, Will can recall... No, no, that's not even that good. Um, I thought he had time walk. I thought he could recall for mm -hmm. time walk and time twister and do the whole thing again, but he does not have time. No. But he can still, like... There's a lot of stuff he can do here, so Jim needs to, I think, needs to nut up or shut up, you know? Yeah, yeah. A lot a lot changes um, after this turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you going to play his own? Oh, transmute. Okay. All right, so he's transmuting a, glasses into something. That's a white-bordered transmute. 
Yeah, his whole deck's whiteboarded. He whiteboarded his two transmutes and his library. Nice. Yeah, it's cute. That's commitment. <laughs> everything else, everything, all the other cards can be whiteboarded. I don't think he, like, whiteboarded Arabian Urnims, but he yeah. did whiteboard a couple of bangers in library and transmute. Cool. <laughs> I like silly stuff like that, because it's just a yet further reminder that these are just cardboard rectangles, and they don't actually have yep. any real intrinsic value. Yep. In addition, okay. in addition to that, which is very true, I'm just a sucker for white. White border cards are gas now. Everything's black border yep. now. Yep. Back in the day, um, the black border stuff was cool, but we've come so far from then that I truly prefer unlimiteds and, and white borders mm -hmm. at this point. Plus, just like the the value prop of playing with unlimited, like just because the price is so different that that makes it better on its own. Okay, so we're re recalling for Ancestral and Time Walk. I mean, you know, that's a play we've seen a thousand times. Give myself that's a time third walk. turn in a row. <laughs> I, just, I feel like I would have gotten Mind Twist involved in this somehow uh -huh. with the scooter. I, I, don't, I don't know what's going to happen here. Especially because it super feels like we're just spinning wheels at this point. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, I was with, admittedly, very powerful cards, but... But still, just hoping that good cards come off the top of the library instead of assuming that we can or not even assuming knowing that we can keep our opponent from having good cards in their hand right which makes it very different yeah we're just you're right he, there's just a lot of wheel spinning and there's not he doesn't have that much mana right because he knows his howling mine or arandor is his vault is going to be disenchanted Mm -hmm. So, like, he just doesn't have enough mana to, like, play two things, get one disenchanted, counter something, and twiddle, you know? I was definitely expecting more out of that Lotus than recall for two power cards, which is an insane sentence to say out loud. I know, but I know. <laughs> when, you're, yeah, you know when your deck revolves around how many times can I put twiddle back in my hand, uh, I was expecting more. I think it's like, he, so he... I guess he transmuted for Lotus, but I don't know. I just I just feel like Mind Twist was the answer here, but I honestly I don't know what was in his hand the whole time. Mm -hmm. The last thing I want to see right now, though, is just the hand saying go. I know. Because that would be a lot of time that he's sunk into trying to solve this problem, and to see Will on tap with this hand and this board state would just be sad. From, like, a commentary perspective. Yeah. Because <laughs> it would just take a lot of time. <laughs> and also it really just kind of kills the story that we were building there for a minute of Jim being able to turn around Will's insane start okay a C they must have been having a conversation that we you know we can't hear because that I feel like playing a land was something it should not have taken that long oh he's just thinking about all of his lines yeah. is he gonna uh yep okay recall for that... Lotus and Time Walk yeah yeah so we'll take our fourth turn in a row and still not do a ton. If only he had an Urnum Jin out. That would have been yeah. 16. <laughs> With the one that he did. Oh, God. It would have been the full 20. <laughs> it could have been. <laughs> All right, now, if he has time, no, even Time Twister isn't that good now. Because it's yeah. going to. Oh, he didn't discard his cards mm. to recall. He just. He just. Drew. Just did it. Yeah. Just pick two cards off. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I get to do this, right? Five mana, get two cards out of your graveyard. Seems fine. If you play something like Howling Mine, Howling Mine, Time Walk here, that would be something. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's got a decent amount of mana now. Like the one thing that he was struggling on at the beginning of this, what will now be five turns in a row. Okay. It's very slowly, slowly tapping. Holy shit, dude. Wow. Empty hand got the wheel. Oh. Oh, he, he's just going for it? I, I... That took some stones, hand? man. Yeah, he did. He played that basic island. Okay. I feel like I would not have done that, given that he has a land untapped right now. 
I don't know if that was a miscount or what. Yeah, I, I don't know if it. I don't know if it's gonna matter much. So Will's is deciding to not just enchant a response, which I think I like. It's gonna get a two for one if he has a twiddle later. It mm -hmm. also leaves open a potential counter spell. Mm -hmm. I think he's fine giving up that card disadvantage. And Jim's still got a time walk turn, right? I think we've still got a no. turn on the stack, or, no, or are no, we out? I don't think so. Okay. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was. It was time walk. Yeah, you're right. You're time right, walk, time bolt, wheel. Time. Yep. You're right. That's what the one is. Or no, maybe not. Okay, yep, there he is. Okay. He just, he made an exaggerated passing motion with his hand, and I was just like, I, I never do that when I pass a time walk turn to myself. I know. <laughs> Maybe he maybe he said go and then he went wait I forgot I have oh, this oh wait I have this <laughs> this yeah. fifth turn in a row. We had a big argument this weekend. There's there's multiple Pendle Havens in the broken draft and one of them is, or some of them say no, take backs are, are allowed uh, and some of them say and some of them say no take backs right because you, you always forget about Pendle Haven and you block a one with the one 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 and you and you feel like an idiot uh -huh. but you just take it back because it's friend magic right yeah but so we were talking about how how far that no takes backs clause goes like into that is the table are there no take backs no matter what across the board <laughs> or is it just pendle allowed, haven related can you just aggressively do things and then take them all back like there was a lot of chatter about huh. that this weekend well i'm sure that'll get added to the minutes for the next board meeting it will, yeah yes there, it certainly will be it's already on the docket <laughs> I rarely enjoy three hours of magic that don't affect me in any way more than, uh, or three hours of magic talk that don't affect me in any way more than a sped board meeting. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, a, a, I appreciate that, and B, holy shit, dude. <laughs> what a great uh, draw. Yeah. I mean, when you get to draw um, seven, right? And B, yeah, I know, right? And B, you have another, you're, you're going to have another one coming your way fairly soon. Oh, nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, now he's off of... Oh, he still has that Chaos Orb, though. That Chaos Orb is everything. Yeah. Yeah, Jim's got Actually, that, have... card, that doesn't do anything here, because Will still could only do one actual thing. Oh, right, So now yeah. he's locked into his one thing being Chaos Orb. Yeah. But it's still a thing. Yeah, so we need to have another Vault. And probably a second Twiddle. Or what, what will be a third... No, he got the Twiddle out. It was before the... Twister. Part of the problem with this too is he's burned through two recalls to do all of this, so uh -huh. it's gonna be a little <laughs> He needs to get an Urnum down before he starts taking yeah, yeah, more of yeah. these turns. But he can still kill Urnum with Chaos Orb. Oh yeah, good point. Thankfully there's two more. I will say these are some very like these are tricky lines played by Jim. I don't know. I just feel like my I would have had Mind Twist involved in some way, but he knows his deck better than me, and there were a lot of decisions. When you're transmuting and demonic tutoring and regrowthing and recalling, there's a lot of decisions, and he seems to be navigating them pretty well to end up in this spot. I tell you right now, I would have lost this game by now. Yeah, yeah. Like, with the start that Will had, I would have lost this fucking game by now. All right, here's another recall. Is he going to force his hand? Or he can't force his hand with the strip because he doesn't have a time walk holding. But he can get a time walk. He can get yeah. time walk strip. Yeah. Time walk and DT. Yeah, I'm mean, getting strip is aggressive, I think. Yeah. Is he reaching for that glasses? He, really he better not be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time walk DT. Yeah, this resolves. He's cast so many restricted cards, but he's he's fresh out of recalls. Like, yeah. It's going to be tough. How does he win the game from here? End of turn, twiddle your, uh, twiddle your city of brass. <laughs> then he can, then he can, then he has one whole turn to do whatever he wants. He just, he really needs a freaking howling mind. Yep. That's what he it needs. needs to changing turns is irrelevant without a howling mind, so. Yeah. He's done a lot to set up here. I'm hoping he can pay it off. You know, obviously the part of my heart that is just like, no, Will must win because he's the Philly boy. But the part of me that is sat here commentating what is now six time walk turns plus his original turn. Oh yeah, that's finally finally green mana to cast the Ernie. Hmm. 
He still has three cards in his hand and he's done. <laughs> like, the number of, of tutor-ish effects that he's been doing with these recalls and actual tutors and actual regrowths mm -hmm. is um, a little out of control. <laughs> a lot of cards have changed zones. Yeah, but they're just those are the harder decisions. I always say 85% of my thinking time in Magic revolves around Demonic Tutor. Oh, yeah. And he, he's just tutored and poor man's tutored in regrowth and recall like seven times. Mm -hmm. And he's done them very quickly. So he's a man who knows what he's doing with this deck. One of my weakest points, and he didn't have this decision tree the last time, is what to discard to recall. Yeah. Well, he has yeah. some easy ones, right? Ernim's, Ernim's can go right in the bin. Yeah. Okay, this, this, this is Twist, right? Nope, it's the fourth recall. <laughs> okay, Does he not then. have... Uh, is it for two? So he demonic tutored, spent five mana for a two-card recall. To get a seventh time walk turn. I guess he then he time walk. He tu did he get tutor and time walk? I don't even know how he. I guess you don't need a howling mine if you haven't earned him. But I guess. I, so he's he's going to tutor for for a draw seven here, right? I mean that's that's all he can do, I think. I mean he's got nine mana, so you know he's not at a loss for mana to do stuff with but like even if he mind twist now he's not in like whatever they're both drawing off the top and will has a tome like will's a will's a favorite yeah. to mind twist even here he has to just draw seven and hope hope some more shenanigans ensue mm -hmm. that helps with a draw seven yeah seeing that whiteboard is fucking weird yeah yeah okay Hope you don't have anywhere to be tonight. <laughs> I kind of do. <laughs> <laughs> Did not anticipate uh, Jim taking eight turns in a row in game one and still Especially not being with... in a position to win the game. Okay, well, I mean, now is, we are that orb even, proof. That doesn't even help, though. Because yeah. he can just tutor... Um, he can just chaos orb whichever one he twiddles. Yep. So... It's not even very valuable. And yes, yeah, this is this is the last. It's just transmute fodder, I think. He's going to draw seven now, right? Mm -hmm. Like I guess, but even still, like he just without the recalls, he's limited on his twiddles. I know. So... It's just it's just a weird. Well, we already saw a wheel. Responding to chat, we already saw a wheel, but there's okay twister, but. Uh... Like, to recycle a lot of this... stuff, but again, to what end? Dude, is, is this two out of three? Oh, I hope so, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it is. I think top four is three out of five only, I okay. think, in the past. Although I'm sure if given the option, Will would have played three out of five because it's better for him because lower variance, but I don't know if there's... I honestly don't. Maybe he would have just chosen not to because of Twiddle Vault, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even though it helps his odds. I don't know if he has that in him. I don't know. I do know that uh, I am absolutely stunned at the fact that this is just the the fact it's that really we've seen cool. so, so many turns is... without vault being twiddled. Drawing drawing the second vault is a hedge for like strip mine and or twiddle your city of brass and then then next turn you're fully unimpeded, right? Mm -hmm. So that's because then he can't just just chaos or. Uh, vault in response, which he definitely would do. Yeah. He's smart enough to know to wait. But if he draws Strip Mine or Twiddle here, because he has a Time Walk turn. Pearl? Okay, a Howling uh, Mine finally makes its appearance. So, I, I, I would have loved a Twiddle. Maybe he just had no other outs. Possible. Oh, he's doing. He's running takebacks. Pat Pendlehaven's in play. 
carrying Which over is from, fine. Wait, what? He's saying go. All of that, just to yeah. Oh I mean, he drew, he drew so much gas for so many turns. At some point, he's going to peter out. Mm -hmm. It's crazy how big that chaos orb was, right? Like, yeah. oh my god. The inability to take Will off of the ability to activate that orb was so the decider there. All right, so let's see what the twister gave Will this time. It smells mind twisty in here. <laughs> It'd be really nice if it was mind twisty in here, because that would almost lock the game up other yep. than Wheel of Fortune and Demonic Tutor. Well, it, it, we it gave him at least Ruby and Lotus, so... All right, he's doing the old uh, take another turn play. Just cue, cue some uh, time vault turns up. I like this. I mean, you know. I love that, too, because you can't use Tome. Danny yep. Friedman taught me that lesson a long time ago. If you have a Tome in play and your opponent taps time vault, you can't be like, all right, uh, I'll Tome before my turn because you just can't. That ship sailed. Huh. So it's actually very um, – it's, it's a cool play here. Neat. And I, I like it a lot. Yeah. Just bank these turns, right? You don't even, Will's not doing anything other than drawing a card or two. Mm -hmm. um, and he can't chaos orb a twiddle vault that's already or a time vault that's already untapped. So. Yep. That's true. What a, Jim, Jim did this, discard his own orb. Board state. Be back. Now this is four, insane. Just, I've never seen a graveyard of only four recalls in it before. I don't know if that's ever sir, happened. Sir, that's a before. remove from game zone of four recalls. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> That's, but like only, that's somewhat I guess, odder. Yeah. You're right. I, it looks like a graveyard, though, and I think I've only seen four four recalls in that one zone mm -hmm. um, right now. I'm sure four recalls have been removed from game before. A lot of, happens a lot of times in Twitter Vault matches, I'm sure. But All right, so he's... So Will, Will uh, tapped his tome on his turn, probably mm -hmm. correctly, so he didn't get time vaulted again. Yeah. Sorcery speed tome. I know. But he has access to so much mana and a, and a chaos orb. He's he's really screwed here. Yeah, there's not. There's no way Will doesn't have answers in his hand. Oh yeah, and he's down to like three or four cards, I think. That is not long for this world. Mm. Okay. 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 He's still going to orb, orb disenchant or counter. He's not going to let him un take a time walk turn with a Howling Mind in play. Mm -hmm. There's no chance. How dare you try to out card advantage the deck? Yeah. <laughs> Brian Weissman invented card advantage. Yeah. I wonder if he did. I mean, he, I, I know when I first saw James Day Tome, I wasn't impressed. I can tell you that much. I. All I know is because I started playing after you were already on the pro tour uh i was told at that time that card advantage existed because of the deck so yeah yeah <laughs> he was the first one to play it prominently and that was that was like early not like that was like mid 94 i think mm -hmm. um so i'm sure for all intents and purposes he did i can tell you right now nobody does card advantage better than the deck Oh, yeah. Irrespective of whether or not it did it first. I think it's so cute that literally 30 years after he did that, we're, he, we're still playing the same fucking deck, you know? Yep. Well, when you have a time-locked format... Is he is he getting his turn with these Howling Minds in play? He drew a pile of them. Holy shit. Yeah. That's huge. But he can't twiddle now. Because he'll Chaos Orb in response... He really, really wants to draw actual time walk. Did that get him up to seven cards for library? I guess not, because he would have immediately mm -hmm. tapped it. Must be six, then. Yeah. I thought he had a couple. He had a couple of cards in hand. Three Howling Mines was a hell of an attempt last turn. Yeah. He needed some of those before. 
Yeah. If during any, if he could have struck a howling mine during all that whole fiasco earlier in the game, it's just all the difference in the world. Mm -hmm. All right, draw three, go. But now Will gets to draw three. It's much better for them both to be throwing. For them, given the fact they're both drawing three, it's much better for Jim because Will was kind of already drawing three. Yeah. And so the difference between three and five is a lot smaller than the difference between one and three. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just, I can't believe the Tally Mines are in play. Yeah. All he had was a counter. What he really needs is was one of those mana shorts out of his sideboard. <laughs> just grab one of those. Drawing on his own turn? He must have, like, a thousand cards in his hand. What What could he possibly be? Like, what don't you already have in hand? Is he just time walking, maybe? What the fuck? We really need glasses right now. Yeah, we, we need, need to know. That would make this so interesting. <laughs> We need to know what Will's currently tanking on. This is some quality, uh, quality magic, though. Yeah, I mean, it actually is, but like, I would have—I don't know. Even I probably would have turned this off. <laughs> well, thank you to the you folks think, out there in Chatland who have not turned it off yet. You but... think I'd be like the target audience, but like, I don't know. I don't have it in me anymore to watch this. I think. Well, this is this is just—it was so much wheel spinning that just amounted with a go that yeah it, it's right just... that's what i mean like i would have watched through all the spinning the spinning was legitimately exciting and i still can't believe those howling mines are in play so i guess it's still interesting for a little okay there goes one of them mm. gain life get up to 21 does not matter get up to 21 so now we need an extra earn him hit fair <laughs> not if that ends up mattering fair. yeah i'll lose it it's a non-zero chance. I'm pretty sure you chaos orb this other howling mine. Just he's got to get him off the card advantage engine. It's the only way. All right. I mean, Will's drawing a trillion cards. If Jim doesn't draw him any more cards, the game's over. Mm -hmm. It already probably is over. But this. So he's giving him the one howling mine. He's keeping that chaos orb, which makes me think he doesn't have an he doesn't have a lot going on then in his hand, right? Because he has tons of mana, mm -hmm. and he could counterspell any twiddles or disenchant in response to any twiddles. And, and Jim doesn't have um, many counters, but it makes me think his hand is is fairly airy if he's not chaos orbing that howling mine, which is a shame. Okay. Are we calling for one? Just to get the divine back? I I, I don't even know. I, I, I... Do you get divine offering or do you get counterspell? I, I actually don't know here. Probably like, just divine offering. I was gonna say I feel like there's well, an argument for either of them, but I think it's divine offering because you just get the two for one when he tries to twiddle. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't stop actual time time walk, but what are the odds he has that? He has four twiddles and only one time walk. But I think it's I think it's divine offering. This is I guess, but this is what I mean. His hand does did not have a lot going on for him to make this play. I guess DO responds to the threat on board. No, we got Okay, so we got counterspell. He got actual counterspell. I guess counterspell also stops Wheel of Fortune, which is another mm -hmm. out of his. Right? Regrowth. Yeah, I, I really There's, guess it comes it stops, down to like Mind twist. It stops the the reserved list shenanigans, which yeah. I think is important. Yeah. So it's worse against actual twiddle, but it's better against you know like five restricted cards. All all of which we saw do some work during mm -hmm. the the time walk looping. Cast Arnim Jin, your turn. Yeah, <laughs> I'll give your I'll give your nothing forest walk. Test spell. That's the that's a test spell right there. 
Yep. But it isn't even crossing Will's mind to counter that. Might as well library first, but. I don't know if you were a fan of uh, or have even seen Mad Max Fury Road, but every time somebody plays a spell like that, I just think of that's bait. I have. I, I've seen it one time. Okay. Uh, I had not heard that in a long time. Yeah. But it does. Yeah, yeah, when, yeah. They're, when they're driving through the desert and Max. Yeah, yeah. That's bait. <laughs> that's bait. That's bait. And they fall. Don't they fall for it, right? They do. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So dumb. <laughs> that's bait. I mean,. Will, uh, smarter apparently than post-apocalyptic Australians, did not fall for it. <laughs> See, so now we have to counterspell Twiddle, mm -hmm. which is a lot worse, right? So, um, that was, I mean, obviously it's, it's easy to say in retrospect, but I still think counterspell is a very legitimate and probably correct play because it stops so many things. I mean, he still has this Chaos Orb kicking around. Problem is, once he Chaos Orbs here... Yeah, because he can't, he can't respond to the Chaos Orb. He has no access to Disenchants or any of those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. So you definitely just Chaos Orb here. I think. And then you're... I don't know. Chaos Orb the... Chaos Orb the Did he uh, have two counters? He had one counter. He had a counter for Will's counter. No, okay, so Will had a second counter. Yeah. But he's not going to get another turn. But if he randomly had a Twiddle here, that would be... Or, heaven forbid, a Time Walk. That would be absolutely fucking enormous. Mm -hmm. Shields are fully down. He would get an untapped turn with the Howling Mine in play. And an Urnum Jin, I guess, if you're counting at home. <laughs> but it doesn't seem like he does. No, I mean, he's letting the counter spells resolve. Okay, he yeah, does! Another Twiddle! Okay! Okay! Alright, he's going to draw two cards. He has a lot of... Yeah, he still has a lot of air. It has to be... There has to be another Urnum, though, because now we're down to no reshuffle effect and only two Twiddles. <laughs> right, he has to draw actual Time Walk. Yep. He could regrow a Twiddle. Like... <laughs> He's doing it the hard way. He sure is. Draw one, draw two. Attack for four. I think he has something because that was a very quick attack for four. He seems and a little a confident excited. attack for four, so that's yeah, another twiddle. twiddle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a man. <laughs> that was an attack by a man who had who drew a twiddle. Yep. Okay. But again, now there's only one twiddle, one twiddle regrowth and time walk. Right. So he needs to draw like literally an urnum this turn and a twiddle. Actually, urnum isn't. Whatever. He has to draw twiddles, twiddle regrowth, time walk, tutor are the cards he really needs to draw. Mm-hmm. All of them this turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Off of two cards. All right, that was a less confident attack. Yep. That was a man who did not draw his fourth twiddle. Yeah, I think it was. I am wrong. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> not like this. I would have punted. I would have punted by uh, turning this match off, because this is, this is the good stuff. Sylvan. Oh Oh my god. <laughs> he got it! Oh my fucking god, dude! He can draw, he's gonna draw five, uh, four cards here and have one chance at regrowth, twiddle, time walk, demonic tutor, wheel. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> tutor! He drew it! <laughs> Keep two. Wait, is that enough? It's not necessarily enough unless he has another. Well, no, he tutors. Oh, yeah, so he yeah, attacks yeah, for eight. Well. That's enough. Tutor tutors for, Twitter, for time well. walk. Time oh, he he had the wheel, wheel too. Still, wow. Still had all these. Holy shit. <laughs> holy, holy shit. All right. <laughs> See, the annoying part about that is that Will's going to win the next two, but it's going to take an hour and a half. So, yeah, I kind of oh hope God. not, but. <laughs> I think it is. Oof. Well, he he did it, and he did it, honestly, very disciplined. So, let's 
take a look at the deck. So bring up uh, Jim's deck first. So what are our sideboard options? Do we go to the fourth Ernie? Um, let me just one second. I'm, I, I literally, I never have plans. <laughs> and I randomly have plans tonight to go grab, literally, what's a, what's a, what's a stock plan for a 43-year-old man? to go grab a beer with an old friend or whatever, right? <laughs> That's actually what I'm doing. I've never done that, I don't think, in my entire life. But I'm doing it tonight. You barely and even so like now, beer, man. I know. I'll probably get, like, a fucking daiquiri or something. But <laughs> whatever. Um, All right, so just... you, you work on that while I uh, show yeah. the chat uh, Jim's options here. And uh, I feel like, you know, there's a... There's a non-zero chance we see a fair number of these cards come in. Um, All right, at least they're sideboarding. That's the good news. So that means that it's not best best of five. Yes. So, so, so Jim, you want to talk about Jim first? Yeah. Jim, Jim's obviously bringing in Mana Short and Red Blast. Mm -hmm. um, nothing else, I don't think. Maybe Brain Geyser, I don't know. I imagine maybe Brain Geyser just... Unless of in lieu of these uh, stupid urnums, I don't know. I don't know how that nitty gritty works. You'd have to know Jim's deck in and out to know how the brain geyser urnum win con shenanigans play out after board. But I know he wants mana shorts and red blasts. Yep, that goes without saying. Yep. Um, what does he I actually mean, he, cut for? Them? He used every part of the damn buffalo in that last game. Too, <laughs> he so. really did. That's a great way to phrase it. <laughs> he really did. He was digging. Dude, like, what do you even cut here? Like I that's the problem. It's a combo deck. Like I honestly think you might just have to cut these urnums and move in on this brain geyser and just do it the old fashioned way. Oh yeah. glasses. You can cut glasses and three urnums for two red blasts and two mana shorts and play your father's twiddle volt deck. Mm -hmm. But it's still a little bit worse because he only has two counter spells, so I don't know. That's probably what I would do, but I don't know yeah. much about this. I yeah. can't say that I do either, to be honest. Uh, we'll go to bring Will's deck up real quick. It's the deck. What sure. can you say? Yeah, he he wants Disenchant and Do and Red Blast. He doesn't need Bolts. He doesn't need Fireball. He doesn't need Abyss. That's four card. His deck gets so much better. He probably mm -hmm. can shave Swords. I mean, he gets all of that stuff. He'll bring in his Plateau 2 probably to cast... These all of these red and white spells. So he's mm. gonna bring in six cards, and cut like four, cut six garbage cards: bolt, bolt, fireball, abyss, you know, swords, mirror, or something. Yeah, yeah it's it's kind of unnecessary. What? Uh... But like, how much better is that? Like, look at this guy. He's bringing in borderline zeros for mm -hmm. tens. Yeah, you know, Jim is sort of you know his his deck's getting a smidge better in quality. But Wills is going up a ton, and he was mm -hmm. already favored. So Agreed. I will say, uh, the strip that we were discussing earlier, it does say strip for me, Will, uh, but I cannot make out who signed it. I, I, my, for some reason, I want to say Slan fan. Um, yeah. Perhaps. Uh, I don't know. All right, well, they're working on resolving mulligans, I believe, so hopefully, hopefully these games can go a little bit faster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just fifty minute game one almost. That's the other thing with Twiddle Vault, man. Like, unless you're Danny Friedman, how do you play this in timed rounds? Dude, he played it really fast though, I think. For all the decisions he had to make and they all ended up working out, granted he had to draw super, super well, and I don't I just don't know if I, I could have figured all that out. That was that was really impressive. That's that's fair. I will agree with you on that. Also I don't, I don't think he played. I don't think he played slowly, given he averaged demonic tutoring two and a half turns, two and a half times per game for the last eight turns. That's fair. That's fair. I'll give you that. He was playing efficiently. He just had yeah, to yeah. do so much. Also, thank you to the chat member who just rede redeemed uh, channel points for the posture check. How did you know I was slouching? I'm not on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting up straighter. <laughs> Those are. Uh, those words. That, that sounds like a made up sentence to me. As a as a full on boomer, you're only mm -hmm. like. 75% boomer, but redeeming <laughs> stream points for a posture check sounds like a foreign language. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's Twitch nonsense, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, no, we I figured as much, but, like, yeah. I don't know. I couldn't so tell you, you what I mean. Yeah, I guess when, I you, when, you spend time, when you spend time watching a channel that is affiliate or partnered, uh, you earn uh, 
fake bucks called channel points, and streamers can assign uh, redeemables to those uh, channel points. And one of ours is posture check because we're all just slouching idiots. So <laughs> I, I cannot redeem, uh, give Ellie a treat if that's still in there because Ellie is not my dog. That's Max's dog. And I would have to text him and have him give her a treat if somebody redeemed that. <laughs> that's there for when he streams arena most times. All right. So what are we looking for? The same start out of Will and hoping it sticks this time? Yeah, heck, Will can't complain about his start, right? He drew no. Ancestral, had a bunch of mana, had stuff. Yeah. He mulliganed, I think they both mulliganed once. Yeah, they were both on six that game. No, I think they both mulliganed oh, once this, this game, too. Okay. Will's putting uh, two down. Yeah, so oh Will my mulliganed God. twice. Yeah, oof. Jim kept his six. Will's keeping his five on the play. Is Jim, at this point, he's almost favored being up a game and up a card in game two on the draw, he's mm -hmm. probably only like a small underdog at this point in the match. I will say that it, it didn't look necessarily like the draw sevens favored Will as much as we thought they would last game, because there were a couple of turns no. where it was pretty obvious he had had Will. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Ancestral right, so turn we one. the mulligan. Yep. But if we remember last time, Jim had that on turn two, so... Okay. Jim coming right out of pretty the game. Pretty good. It's going to allow him to stack a turn against Will right now when he has no Tome, no Library, or presumably no Library, no yeah. nothing. No you know? no obvious card advantage. Having a turn stacked in the queue for free is, is a big game. Yeah. The other thing I don't think I have the uh, intellect or stones to do is figure out when to just give your opponent an extra turn. He's going to do it right now. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. Like trading, trading a turn early in the game for a turn later in the game when you have Howling Mines. That's kind of what you want to do, especially because Will isn't doing anything even remotely explosive. Now he's doing something a little bit explosive, but that time, that Soul Ring changes the calculus a small amount. But I still think he's going to give him a turn. I think it's down to what Will does with the Soul Ring. Okay, so he's just just disenchanting the the time bomb. Or the time vault. That changes all of all of the calculus because yes. it's not in play anymore. Okay. <laughs> that changes the calculus because we can't do it. And looks like shields, you know shields you down for a turn. Not that will not that Jim has much mana, but like I mm -hmm. mean he could do something cute like howling mox howling mine time walk. You know that's that's a lot, but well, there's one piece of that. Yeah, playing it into six white part white cards is rough though. Will, Will has a disenchant. Look how, how excited he was to untap. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, this is this is getting disenchanted. These raw dog tally mines are, are a little are a little scary against decks full of white cards. But you, you have to do it. Yeah. You can't, you can't like, um, play scared with Twiddle Wall. I mean, there's a reason that the make them have it ethos exists, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. This... Twist for three. Uh, wow. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's a couple of cards. Drawing two back, though. Time yeah. twister? I mean, that's a real good answer to unfucking yourself from a mind twist. I mean, discard three, draw two. Draw two. I mean, even just a single howling mine is a, is a pretty good answer to twist for three. Mm hmm. Granted, those cards were fire, but... <laughs> yeah, very true. Powerful cards. Definitely can't argue with the way either of them have played this. I mean, like, again, we know Will, we know he's a solid player, and Jim has displayed a lot of restraint and intelligent decision making so good for both of them especially he... now an hour in yeah oh for sure I'm, I'm very impressed with the play on both sides i think jim has some has some um feathers in his cap with this deck and, and monthly is here or there or some other tournaments so it's mm -hmm. not like he's just trying trotting this out for the first time he's been playing it for a while and, and he knows it really well and it's a it's a well-honed machine at this point although i still feel like he's about 2.8 earnings heavy but <laughs> 
He's, uh, but that's his thing, though, right? Nobody does this, and he does it and does well with it. So it's it's possible he's just onto something, you know? Yeah. Either that or he's just obscenely lucky. <laughs> he did draw a fuck ton of restricted cards in game one, right? So. Yeah. Let us uh, let us just uh, assume that he might be a little bit ahead on variance here tonight. Yeah, yeah. Little deal with a double. I'm listening to, listening to I listened to the rewatchables bill simmons rewatchables podcast they did one on devil's advocate they're doing courtroom movie month it's mm. a pod about movies that are that are very rewatchable yep and they're doing one on devil's advocate and so the devil de- making deals with the devil is fresh in my mind it sounds like jim might be the keanu reeves of this match we're Just trying trying to make a deal with the devil my, mildly fausty and i got it yeah <laughs> A sentence that perhaps has never been uttered before in the history of time. Literally never, yes. <laughs> Mildly Faustian. Congratulations, you've done it. I've invented a new You're the sentence. first person, yeah. And it makes me sound like an idiot. <laughs> Actually, it makes me sound like a, something else entirely, but we won't go there. I look down for a second. What? Regrow Ancestral. Oh, his Ancestral. That's the card that's missing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And hasn't played a land and... Has a couple of those floating. So... Yeah. He's in very good shape. And, and Jim's on one actual card in his hand. Jeez. If he could... If he could... Library... Does he have seven? Uh, no, because I have a feeling that would be tapped already. Right. Oh, I, I'm surprised he he didn't draw out any of his disenchant effects for that howling mine. I guess he double mulliganed. He ancestral twice, double mulliganed, drew a howling mine card. Yeah, it still feels a little bit low to be on on library, but he will be next turn. Yeah. Oh, well, close at least. So. Jim in the tank a little bit, so he has some something going on. Yeah, there's obviously we've we've obviously reached a decision point within the match. I feel like if you're Will, do you do you just disenchant? You have to disenchant Howling Mine there, right? So that makes me think that he doesn't have disenchant, which mm-hmm. means that he's only on Red Blast right now as yeah. potential interaction. I guess there's a world where you don't disenchant Howling Mine because maybe the Howling Mine is what gets you up to um, library. All right, so, you know, counter your red blast. Just time walk. Tutor for Lotus. Tutor for Lotus Twister? That's the only thing I can think of. Otherwise, I don't know what he's doing. Mm Hmm. I guess, like, Mox Time Walk might... I mean, you might have to just run that line if you have... If you have, if you have just Time Walk, you know? Mm-hmm. Like... Or I guess without, even land. Without knowing the context of his hand, which I think was only one card at that point, so... And in one, he drew up to two. So he oh. drew a Twiddle and a Tutor. So if his other card was Time Walk, he can Tutor for a Mox. If his other card was Lotus or Time Twister, he can Tutor for the other one. Just Tutors for a land and Ancestral. Okay, so he's just out play- He's outplaying all of us. He's not... He's just like, I'm not going to play this into a uh, into a Red Blast. So Will did have Library. Oh, okay. He just didn't do it on his turn. All right. It means he didn't have Disenchant. Good job representing Disenchant. Yeah. I don't know if I like that Ancestral, right? Like... Wouldn't you rather just... T- a time walk's one less card. Mm-hmm. A time walk with Howling Mind in play is, is pretty good. It's You pay one less card for, you know, four mana <laughs> mm-hmm. to use on it. Five mana to use on it. So I, I don't know. Six mana because you would have tutored for a mox. So I'm not sure about that. Me neither. What's but better? Again, one, well, the, thir- the third card or six mana? I, I, I don't know. I think I... It feels like six mana. I think it... I guess it just depends on what the cards are, really. Like... But I don't, I sure. don't necessarily know if there's a world where the one card is better than all that mana. 
Right. Because I mean, the problem is he's just drawing off go. the top. You know? Yeah. Right. He, he's fully drawing off the top here. But at this point, his, his graveyard is pretty loaded, so even drawing, like, a recall is great, right? So he has a lot of really live draws. You know, that, that's, I, I think I just get time off there. Okay. So is he just going to disenchant Howling Mine and have have some actual mana up now? That's probably the play. Because he already has Mind Twist and Ancestral in his graveyard. Balance is shit here. Actually, Balance might have just come out. No, I probably stayed in as a hedge. As a hedge for a game that gets out of control and or to kill an Urnum Jin. So we probably kept that. But yeah, there's I nothing guess it truly for him to get. But... So he can just... I mean, he can library here disenchant howling mine and say go with you know two, with seven cards in hand two lands untapped okay, okay or get his own time walk he's just going you know the old play where you don't you don't tutor for the card you want you tutor for the card draw and hope to draw it i think mm -hmm. well he had it anyway so he just had it all all right didn't yeah he? take a turn and deal yeah. okay so this one's this one's very, very over at this point, I think. Yeah, we said that a couple times in the last one, too, though. I know, but now now Jim, like, literally has one and or two cards in his hand, mm -hmm. and Will hasn't played a single counter or red blast yet. Like, he's... Will's a monster, monster favorite here. Library online, I'm sure. Yeah, I think I like I think I like the time walk play better. It just by Jim, it just really it gives him two turn two cards off the top to just go to go off. Mm -hmm. You know? With six man in play. I think I think that's just more important than one card than one card in saying go to Will with Howling Mine and a pile of mana and library in play. Yeah, the, it's the library that's really doing it too. Because like Will's got nine cards in his hand right now. Yeah. If I've learned anything from consistently losing to Lucas, the more cards the deck has in their hand, the worse you are. That is that is certainly true. But it's like I think that the that first game when when Jim played the glasses and it turns out Will didn't like when you play against the deck. Yeah, there's the balance that he kept in. Yeah. You you always think they always have everything, right? And so he he tapped glasses and he proved to everybody that you, the deck doesn't always have it. He had he had nine cards in hand, none of which were a counter spell. You know? Yeah, but I will no, say that's the feeling game, you get. game one. The deck is a little different against you know your non-creature combo deck. So, sure. Oh, hey, there we go. Something can start doing damage. We're almost. We're getting there. We are getting there. And Jim, by the way, drew a card and passed in his last turn. Yeah, yeah. So I think he's up to four cards. Will's drawing two per turn. Has a pile. He's discarding eh, discarding City of Brass. There's no real information there. Mm -hmm. um, but he just... His whole deck is answers at this point, right? Yeah. No, oh, yeah. The whole deck's answers at this point. Yep. I think we can start attacking here, Will. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I think he here agrees we go. with you. He gets it. He gets it. Okay. Pass with a thousand cards. If I'm Jim, I definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna start feeling the percentage points slipping away now. Oh yeah, we're at we're at ninety. I don't even know what could happen here. He has to have like Time Twister and how many Red Blasts does he even have? Only two? And Hope Will only has two counters. That's that's like his only out. Or Wheel. Wheel will be more helpful. 
because mm -hmm. he can't blast it. So wheel, wheel and two red blasts. Can he even cast all that? He can't even cast it all. So. I guess mana shorts. What 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 does he have for artifact mana? Uh, he does have a pearl. pearl. Yeah, but he'll he'll have no access to to counter spells of any kind if he gets off a of mana short. So mana short is must countery, but mm -hmm. but we he only had two of the board and we already sued one in the yard. So right, right. So that's just one extra card that that could be useful. Also, to your point about wheel, that was the other one of the other cards he discarded to the twist. Jesus Christ! Yeah, it was wheel, brain geyser, and mana short. So like oh, it, it's his only real out. I mean, like whatever. Mind twist is always an out. Like restricted cards are always outs, but like he has like five or six of them, uh, and he he needs to chain three of them ish to have any uh, chance here, which he did do last game. But yeah, but <sighs> Will didn't have a library online. For yeah, most yeah. Of that last and, game, so and and eight on ten untapped mana, like yeah. All right, for the first time all match, Jim's at a lower life total than Will. <laughs> Discard Tome. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's let's move on here. Uh, yeah, I think it's, it is uh, just a little bit of a technicality at this point. Shuffle up for game three, and maybe we can... If, if Jim draws glasses and looks at Will's hand, maybe he'll concede, because it's so good. So we're it really, that's really what we want Jim to right now. Yeah. We really want him to draw glasses. Like if he if he saw glasses into counter counter disenchant divine offering red blast I don't know like and chaos orb on the board. Mm -hmm. That's just that's just a concession. Like and what could he be tanking on right now? Like no offense, but like what are you what are you tanking on? What did you draw that? changed your last three turns of doing nothing so I don't know but he's he's earned a, a small amount of tank equity with his pace of play I think I'm it's less true. mad about it I'm less mad about it than I would be if he just tanked constantly throughout game one you know he, he's earned true. a little bit of this he was really efficient but you're right what really what's going on here you know maybe he just drew he has like one backup spell and a, and like a big spell and he's just gonna go for it, yeah. Twist. Does he have two red blasts? So did he really draw a restricted card? And oh no, he's a counter spell. Counter spell. So that's what he's thinking of. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yep. Okay. Wait, we knew his we knew his hand was counter counter drain red blast disenchant deal. We 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 knew that anyway. We didn't even need the glasses. Mm -hmm. So now mm -hmm. Jim's on back down to two cards. Will is off of library for a turn though. No, he's on library because he went up to eight and he played two. So he's still on library. So this mm -hmm. is this is just yeah. You may want to activate that library. Yeah. <laughs> I I trust that he's going to or or he's going to draw a card draw a card some other way. Maybe it's just me, but I I probably want to tap that library. The fact that he didn't do it right away is um okay, a little weird, we right? Like what yeah, what does that what... signal, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, what would else would he want that mana for? I just, I can't. Yeah, because he doesn't have enough mana for a lethal fireball. If he kept that in. So. He close. probably, he almost certainly didn't. Yeah. So, I, I'm trying to think of what possible reason he could have for not tapping library immediately, other than to just fuck with his opponent's mind a little. Will out here playing mind games. I will have to, we'll have to ask him about this. Mm-hmm. I will try to remember. <laughs> he'll, he'll remember. I, I know he will. Like I don't just like when I'm in these situations, the first thing I do is 
drop to seven library mm -hmm. you know and he usually does too you know he's a man who knows how many cards he has in his hand yeah. so for him to not do that there had to be something there yeah yeah and i just i'm curious what it was Was he considering waiting till his opponent's turn to library? Maybe he didn't have a land. Maybe that's it. Mm. Yeah, that's probably it. It's probably just something as simple as that. Less exciting than we thought. Yeah. Yeah, if he doesn't have a land and his hand is full of gas, it makes a lot of sense to not library. So that's 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 clearly it. Yeah, you can have time. You can have time, Walt. Yeah. Time Bolt doesn't kill two Mithras Factories, so you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Reckless Spite. You could use a Reckless Spite here. <laughs> actually, does that kill artifact creatures? I actually don't think it does. I don't actually know what its exact text is, so... Yeah, let's check it out. Oh, wait, I can do it in chat. We have a command for that. Non-black. Yep. Yeah. So he's he's drawing live to reckless spite. He kept in a fireball. Okay. I okay. guess he that's, figured that's, the game was going to go long enough. That's helpful for us. It just means the game might be a little sl uh, take a little less time. Yeah, which is good. Um, though we have taken so much time right now, I do need to do one very quick thing, and we'll be right back. <laughs> yes. You go. You go. Take care of that. So game three, I don't know what happens here. I don't think they change much. Um, we saw the Brain Geyser come in, so that settles that. I think the only cards he can cut really are these Urnims. You know, like Sylvan's really good. Maybe he could cut a, cut a Transmute or something. But for the most part, where he finds his sideboard space is Urnims. So his, his sideboarding is, is pretty straightforward, as is Will's. I don't think anything really changes much play draw here. Um, their decks are are what they are at this point. Wills is a pile of efficient answers and powerful cards against Jim's Rube Goldberg machine that has worked once and not worked once. I don't even have the chat up. Let me let me bring the chat up so I can see if anybody's saying anything here. Oh, where the hell is it? Sword Derby. Yeah, here it is. Mute it. Oh, come on, dude. Every time I log into Twitch, I need to put in a new security code. Very annoying. Three, seven, one, six, four, nine. Yeah, it's it's Ernie Glasses Transmute. I agree, Simon. That's that's it for those those five cards. Okay. Over under on this game, I think we, uh, I think we have two uh, outlier lengths of time for these games. I think that second game was was fairly fair. What was it? 20, 20 something minutes. Yeah, 20, about twenty minutes. Yeah. Twenty ish. Yeah, I would take another twenty minute game here. Yeah. So will at this point, any any individual game, on the draw, he's still probably. 80, 80 plus percent, I think. So, it's not outlandish. It's not ninety-seven percent like he was in that at the by the end of that last game. Yeah. So Jim has outs, but he is not um, feeling particularly good about them. Not a total dog, but also not exactly privileged in his position. Oh no, 
Not at all. That's the thing. So the deck just demolishes Twiddle Vault, demolishes shops, demolishes any random mid-range deck of any kind. Um, that's why it's the best deck. And then it's bad matchup. It's only, depends on who you ask. I'm sure if you ask Fluffy, he's, he's 60% against 12 Bolt. But if you ask, like, you know... A normal um, human? Right. Or no, no. But if you ask, like, Seth or, or you know, oh, Simon, they're, they're probably like... Oh, I'm I'm sixty five percent or no, I'm I'm fifty seven percent against the deck, right? Mm -hmm. So whatever. Call that call that pretty much a coin flip. I personally think it's slightly favored for twelve volt. So like whatever. Say there's let's say the deck's slight dogs there, but as as payment for that, they're like huge favorites against every single other top deck. So why it's the best deck. Mm -hmm. Did Will Mulligan again? Is he reshuffling now? Can't tell I'll be honest, I missed that. I did too. You have an excuse. You were gone. I I wasn't. So <laughs> I think Jim uh, your excuse was you had no you had no co-host. <laughs> exactly, right? You were alone, and it's not like you have any uh, any history with hosting things by yourself. No, no clue whatsoever. Yeah, <laughs> I did. I rambled a little bit. I try not to ramble too much because I didn't want to cost you viewers. So. Yeah. <laughs> now we've been holding holding pretty steady in the uh, between one to two dozen. So you know, much like your podcast. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Well. Okay. That's, that's how you start. beat the deck. That yep. is how you beat the deck. By far, the worst card for Will to see across the table from him. Yeah. Let's just hope it's just strip you, and we'll start again. Doesn't sound like it. He would have nope. slammed it if it was. If he's slow rolling the strip. No. He would He would never do that. That's not. Unless he has some broken thing with like land, soul ring, time walk, whatever, strip you on turn two. That could be it. That is a possibility. Oh, okay. It's still good for Jim. I mean, he'd rather have Will probably not have that, but it's still mm -hmm. good for him. He'd rather have both players have a library than no players have a library. Every every additional card Jim gets is just oh my god! Wow, <laughs> this would be awfully cute if Will had his strip too. It, it would be just a little. <laughs> to lose to a white border Loa. Yep, that's correct. <laughs> oh my god! Well. It's it's not a strip, but it is three mana sources. Well, I think Will probably does he keep in Time Twister? He might just just because of Mind Twist, and he has a, he has better cards to cut. But he he decided he wanted to. Yeah, that that felt that smelled yeah. a little balancey. That's a synthetic Mind Twist here. That's that's mm -hmm. very good. Because what's Will down to two now? He drew a card, so it's probably three or four. He drew a card with library, so mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six. He should have. What is this? His turn two, so we should have ten cards. We should have four in hand. Four in hand. So it's not that bad. I'm pretty sure if I'm Jim, even though Will has four cards, I probably just sit around and say go for three turns. Yep. Get back up to library. Yeah. Yep. Recall land, land. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think he should have. Yeah, that would make sense because Jim would have had seven cards in hand and he just discarded yeah. three. So. Yeah, yeah. I think your math yeah, checks saying, out. He's just saying go and hoping Will doesn't do something really stupid here. I don't think that Jim brought in a Hercules, but I got to draw like this, like a Hercules into Time Twister play is really insane. That's that's exactly what Will wanted here was Tome. He needed something to spend this mana on right now over the next couple turns before Jim starts doing his thing, and that's the perfect card to uh, employ that strategy. Well, wow, that was that was great for him. Anything you can do to get card advantage back while your opponent's trying to also claw it back. Right. And a way to use your mana. Like, he doesn't have a lot of proactive plays, right? Tome is his most proactive play. Oh, he's going to bounce again. Down to, down to like, two. That's amazing. Down to one? Is he going to discard? Does he have three cards in hand? Recall away one, play balance. Down to... Okay. 
All right, that's it. That's the game. Yeah, he has to have Lotus him. draw seven. That's that's yep. his only out. Lotus twister or wheel. And this is exactly why you leave in balance, even though pres presumably like Jim's deck has a lot of artifacts, is very powered, you know, probably doesn't have any creatures, etc. But it opens up lines like this, you know. And now Jim has a to or uh, Will has a tome. Yeah, I mean that's just that's everything. Will draws two cards every turn. Jim only draws one. You know, it's a couple turns of draw, 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 go. You know. Yeah, yeah, but that's all you need. Yep. And it just snowballs. I guess balance is a hedge versus Ernie, but like a hedge. It's, it's a very t like the fact that it could kill an Ernie in a pinch is like. The, the smallest use case out of balance here, though, right? The main use is shit like this. Mm -hmm. Gets you out of jams, does broken shit. Shred um, your opponent's hand to pieces. Right, a synthetic mind twist, keeps things from getting too out of control, all of that stuff. And it's exactly why it's still in this deck. And it's exactly why you should always be playing balance. Like, if you have any, any possible way to have a balance in your deck, you should be playing it. If you don't think you should be playing it in your exact build, you're very likely wrong. Mm-hmm. Even if you're playing 12 creatures or whatever, just play balance. One of the games that I won out of nowhere at the X point side event at LobsterCon was purely because of a balance, and then my opponent just scooped because he couldn't come back. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes balance just cracks the back. Is he Jim's, just going to drop to seven cards. again? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> we'll can just the hard balance way. at some point. Yeah. Although it's or... getting a little worse because he's going to lose all his lands. But those four, four, four Moxes and Tome and I guess Lotus are uh, doing the Lord's work in this uh, balance sub-game. Or just DT for twists at a point. Right, sure, that, that also works. He's, he's really, really... So we started this game at, let's call it, 85%. It's now it's now ninety six percent. The card advantage you is think, unbelievable. Do you think Jim wins this game one in twenty times? I don't think he does. I mean, I think he probably wins it one in fifty times. The amount that Will would have to brick from this point. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Wow. The amount that Will would That's... have to brick from this point. I don't think he can win now. Like, like shields are completely down. So if he, if he has something insane, like Lotus draw seven, that's a really surprising play for Will. Must like, why are these angels in his deck? What am I missing here? He boarded him in too, because he had all four on the board. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't quite understand this. I mean, maybe he just wanted a way to close out the game faster. Artist, maybe he's doing it for us. He's like, I'm so <laughs> far ahead. I'm gonna take my matchup from 85 to 83 percent just to save the Let's viewers. Let's give him something interesting to talk about and cut some right, time off right. the match. I appreciate that, Will. We see you. Always a showman. Simon, you're watching. Why is why is uh, Sarah in his deck right now? <laughs> Teach us, Simon. Well, it wasn't Land Lotus Holy draw seven, shit, but that's it was exactly draw seven. what needed to happen. <laughs> well, shit. Okay. And that's exactly what Will did not want to happen. Simon says, by the way, closes the game faster. Has spots. I mean, sure, it has spots, but, like, what came, what is in his deck? What's in his sideboard over that, you know? Like, mm -hmm. a reasonable card is. I mean, maybe swords. But I guess, like, it, was, it seemed very clear after game two that Jim took all of his Urnums out and wasn't trying to do anything tricky, so maybe if that's the case, Will can play some some Sarahs over those dead swords. That might be it. Another good that's question. Can, he's doing. can Jim actually kill it? And the answer is probably no. So. No, it, it probably can't, and it, it, it's good in these games where they just stare at each other for a while. But I think it's just probably like he, he didn't have, he doesn't have Urnum after board, and so if he's going to cut all four of his swords, Sarah's probably the next card to bring in. As I, as I guess the answer. Yeah. Trim all the cards you can't cast, and sometimes just kill your opponent by attacking five times. But I was, I was just curious, because he had he had he showed us his swords in game one, or game mm -hmm. two. So, I think he's just very confident now that he does, has no Urnums. 
Jim tanking a little here. That's that's not great for Will. Well, he drew seven and passed. Oh, he said go? Yeah, he said go. Oh, oh so he said go. So I thought he was tanking, but it was, must have been a super quick go. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Will just continuing to be flush with artifact mana. Oh, yeah. Alan's terrible here, though. Kills your own Sarah. Yeah. Simon says uh, Will was probably only on one to two swords game two. Yeah. We just saw the So that means he probably had one or two Sarah. He probably just has a couple Sarahs in over those swords, sword mm -hmm. spots. Yeah. I mean, I knew Will did not have four swords after board. I, I'd probably put him on two as well. But that's probably it. If you actually look at the, the cards that go in and out, um, there's a couple of dead spots, right? And he just has, like, Sarah's better than the third swords and the first abyss or whatever. So that's, that's what's happening. Yeah. Will going for another Sarah. Okay. Another Sarah with access to one real card here. Oh no, two. Because that's a red mox. So yeah. So he has two he's representing two two disruption cards. Still in a great spot. <laughs> I I would not want to be in Jim's shoes right now. Yeah. It's funny, this is a fully fully black border, no C E. Like his deck is all I, I you know, to use the term very loosely, real magic cards. None of the stuff you're looking at is C E out of Will's deck. Mm -hmm. versus a fully white border deck. So it's actually a cute little dichotomy, I think. It's nice. Yes. Uh, I will say Will does have one white border card in uh, his Lotus. Oh, well. that mind twist. Yeah, oh, yeah. The, the Lotus. Oh, he got rid of his beta Lotus. Shit, you're right. I'm sorry. I it's wouldn't, I wouldn't have realized though. that if he hadn't cast it in the last game. It's like, so. you're right, you're right. All of, all of his duels and all that kind of shit, and yep. Tomes and Sarahs and Sor, all that stuff is black border. But, but there are some interesting white border cards. I think, he, I think it's his actual, his original Unlimited Lotus that he had from when he started playing Vintage 15 years ago. He sold it a while ago and ran a beta for a long time and then had a chance to buy that one back. The oh, original you, Unlimited back. So I think that's what he did. Hmm. And the Buying mind twist I know. piece of your own history. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think his mind, his mind twist has been a... a you know, a personal uh, favorite altar of his for a long time. It was a gift from somebody. I forgot. Somebody, I feel like somebody local. Might have been his friend Craig. That the guy behind, like, the moat buyout eight yep. years ago. Yep. Yeah. I have both bought and sold cards from him in the past. I've never interacted with him in any way, actually. Mm. Not even, like, a... A message, yeah, you know, on the internets. Okay, well, Mox is a start. Tank, tank signifies something. Go, mm -hmm. oh, okay. Go doesn't quite signify the same amount. No, it doesn't. Especially not on a two-turn clock. Yeah, he's just—he's gonna have to go balls next turn and hope. My wife's taking a dog for a walk, and the door wasn't closed for a half second, and the dog just took off barking. <laughs> oh, dogs. Why do we do this? Why do we do this to ourselves as human beings? We long like, for I, companionship. I, but do we? Like, I, 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 like if you're if you're really depressed, <laughs> I kind of get having a dog, right? Like, it sure it it'll do things for you. It'll make you feel. It'll help you after a bad day. All of those things, but. Outside of that, I, I the uh, the upside does not outweigh the downside. All right, so right? like I was thinking about it. Ten. Yeah, ten. Like I. Eleven. Right, just in case he can kill the Sarahs, it slows the clock down. One, two, three, four, five. Honestly, if Will has the fireball, the game's just over unless uh, Jim's got a counter. I don't think he plays plays fireball into a potential counterspell here though that's fair 
I think he just says go and well, actually no, because we we know that Jim has to go for it no matter what on his turn. So so Will can't represent anything here. Mm-hmm. Short. Yeah, but he still he has all this mox mana, so this is not that backbreaking. It's not That's great true. for Will. It's not great, but he still has red, blue, white up. He's off counter spell, but he has access to disenchant plus red blast. Unless he red blasts this, then he has access to counter spell plus red blast plus disenchant. I actually would red blast this. Okay, he didn't. Or I don't know if he, I don't know if he had it, but he probably didn't have it because he would have red blasted it too. Oh, he's disenchanting in response. Yep, that's that's definitely correct. Mm -hmm. Unless he has another disenchant. Unless he does have another disenchant. But that signifies he probably has another disenchant because it's a free roll, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, still got to go all in here. Has to. All right, that was a confident city of brass. Mm -hmm. Time walk. Show me Step one. Blast. Okay. No blast. Step one, cast time walk with library in play. Oh no, is it going off library? Oh no. god. But I think Will probably has a second disenchant. He doesn't. Oh my god. No. So he didn't have a second disenchant. So do you disenchant Mox there? I don't I don't think I do. Wouldn't you rather have disenchant now for Howling Mine or whatever? Because you can't cast anything else anyway. Yeah. So I I don't think I do that play. Cause he didn't he didn't have the blast for the time walk, like but even if he didn't, let's say he just didn't disenchant, he could only cast one disenchant right now. Wow. Like, or unless he's choosing to not disenchant this Howling Mind, but this is this is kind of insane. He's having, he's doing it all. And he, Will does not have disenchant. He can't, because he would have cast it. Mm -hmm. So. I mean, yeah, I guess he has the mana to, to book into it, red, it, but. I mean, he might have, he might have, he probably doesn't have rub, right? Because he would have probably rubbed the Time Walk. So unless he's saving this case disenchant for the time vault at this point. Will does his his body language signifies him having nothing. And Jim has played these well. Mm-hmm. I gotta say. He's really found a way out of some extremely we said he was somewhere between. Oh, he just has nothing. Oh Oof, man! Oh, we call off the top. What was Will's hand? Will, show us your hand. Yeah. I'm gonna just. I want to get him to show us. Show us. He had everything, but didn't have anything. Will, Will, what was your hand at the end? Oh, uh, we're muted. That was really good. We're still muted. muted so, yeah, oh, well, no, absolutely. Done, absolutely. absolutely. Um, Luck with the rest. Thank oh, you. Man. Thank you. Well, that's what um, happens sometimes with Tybo, right? He, draw, uh, he had I'm nine cards in hand, yeah, and no, they were all blanks. Dance. Sounds good. Will, are you, Will, can you hear us? Will, can you hear us? All right. We can. I can hear you. Okay. Uh, what did you have in your hand at the end? Mano needs to know. Oh, man. I had a fireball in my hand. Oh, and you didn't oh, go for fireball. Called it. No, I could have fireballed him for four, but if I had tapped my mox, I could have hit him for five, but I didn't. I had fireball and a book and lance. Okay. Okay. Wow, so you had yeah. so you had literal nothing. So you so you chose to use your last two mana when he managed to order you to disenchant a mox rather than keep up your your last disenchant? Well, he was mana shorting me, so I couldn't disenchant. I didn't have a white mana. Didn't you have a pearl? No. No. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm <laughs> I think he's sure. I don't know if he's well, sure. We, we, we both sure too. had a pearl. Yeah. So. Oh, maybe I did have a pearl actually. Yeah, yeah that's why I that's why I was very confused. Yeah, okay. I think you're, 
I if you it. thought you didn't have a pearl, that play makes a lot of oh, sense. I thought yeah. I didn't have okay. a pearl. Turn, okay. Turns out the 50 minute game huh. one may have done a little bit of a number yeah, on yeah. everybody. Yeah, okay, is that? I, I thought for sure you had a second disenchant then, and then it was clear that you didn't because you didn't disenchant the Howling Mine, and I was like, I was like, did you no. want this? You oh, might have played I definitely, against. I definitely you had a pearl. Yeah, well, you that's fine. If you, if you play thought you didn't have Sarah. a pearl, that's fine. Uh, you're yeah, playing your second Sarah. Play the second the Sarah. So yeah, so I so I did have a pearl. I just forgot that I had a pearl. But okay. oh, you had tapped it. For no, some okay. yeah, for some reason I think I had I had four moxes in play and I thought I had a jet. Not. Okay. Hmm. That's fine. I'm just curious what your thought process was. <laughs> Believe me, I've forgotten which mox I have in play more times than maybe any person on earth. So I'm I can't. Yeah. That. Yeah. Wow. Um, that's uh that that hurts a little bit. Yeah, I did have <laughs> I did have the uh yeah. Like, could well, you imagine? Oh. Could you imagine if he went off there with Howling Mine? <laughs> like, I mean, also, I could have fireballed him for four to put him to one, and then he can't use the city. But I was like, I don't want to tap out. I was like, I don't want to tap out in case he, like, twisters me or something. Well, what if you, mm -hmm. like, you also, I, I didn't think you had fireball either because he has to go for it, right? You have infinity mana and stairs and whatever. He's going for it no matter what. So I actually thought you might just dome him for fireball anyway because he's going to play into all of your shit. He has to. So I w yeah, I thought I was I was thinking about fireballing him where I was just like I don't want to get like I didn't want to get like counterspelled right there. I mean, I guess I make him have counterspell, like it kind of serves the same thing as I don't know. I, I that's where my head was. Yeah, I yeah. was kind of just. And if I didn't cast the mana short, like I had the yeah. If you don't cast the mana big. short, yeah, I had I had the disenchant in my hand that I would have held on to. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was either going to cast it, like, during attacks or at the end of turn, right? So. Right. Yeah. Right. You're definitely casting it. Jim, I thought you... Well, I mean, we've talking about Will a lot and some of his very close decisions. I think you played really well. That first game yeah. pulled out yeah. of nowhere. Yeah. You were demonic. Yeah. You were oh, the, my God. You were the equivalent of demonic tutoring, like, two and a half times a turn via <laughs> demonic and regrowth and recall and all yeah, of these and things. Yeah, I'm like... I'm like, okay, he's gonna mind twist me, and then you're like, nope, I'm gonna wheel for two. Dude, instead. dude, and I, I thought it's the same God. line. Yep. I was like, I was like, how is mind twist not involved in all of this tutoring shenanigans? I'm like, it felt very punty to me, and then he just won the game, and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I guess, I, I guess he's better that than first me. First game, I, I, so I didn't have the divine offering, so I was like, I had counter spell and the recall, but I didn't have divine offering, and I was like, well, I can just like recall to just pass with two counter spells but that doesn't seem great i really want to be able to kill some of these howling mines because i just and like yeah ended up just like two mana short where i i had swords in my hand of course but didn't have any mana to cast it it was yeah, just like I mean, a crazy your answers crazy were what sequence. they are but like you're the amount of decisions items. you made in that game were zero compared to jim's jim made like yeah. seemingly 35 yeah, made a thousand decisions really yeah. Really hard and really good decisions. That was a clinic. Absolutely, was... absolutely. Yeah, Dude, that you was took really seven hard. turns in a row off of time walk. Yeah, that alone. Yeah, you and then, all the and and then passed it after that, and yeah, like, still yeah. It out. Ran out of recalls, and then it was just like, oh, I, I have this twiddle card with yeah. with time vault instead. <laughs> yeah, that was that was crazy. That was a yeah. hell of a game to Got there. Yeah, okay. I was. Yeah, really that was a really good one. That was, that was a fun game. To yeah, play. that was that was one of those games where I was like, I can't really be upset about losing this. Like you just completely <laughs> pulled it out of absolutely nowhere, library. and I'm like, yeah, I'm dead now. Mm -hmm. yeah. With the library activation on the stack, like yeah, with the yeah, library activation on the stack, yeah, that was crazy. But yeah, um, that third game, yeah, I totally forgot that I had pearl. Yeah, whatever, that's fine. I'm not here to pick nits. I was just curious. You oh, I know. Jim won yeah, variance I, I game there. one, so. <laughs> Yeah, and then he almost got there through double balance. Yeah, that was nuts too. If, if I yeah. pulled it out, it was like the game of the library for sure. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. I was like, he's yeah, gonna find like, strip mine or You were building up the library, and I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna. I had the recall. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna have to recall for balance and balance again. Like, and then yeah, I was like sitting there with regrowth in my hand when I cast the Sarah. I was like, I don't know, I can. I have a bunch of like counters and stuff. I was like, I probably should have held up, like, waited. But I was like, then I drew the Sarah, and I was like, well, this is the last turn that he's just gonna say go, yeah. because I just. But then it wasn't the turn where he said go, and I had like, I think I had Mana Drain, Counter Spell, and a Red Blast in my hand, maybe, or no, Mana Drain, Counter Spell, and two Disenchants. So it was like, I'm in a great spot here to like counter things, but 
I really wanted to put pressure on the board so that I could actually close the game because I was like, if he gets library going, it's just going to be really hard for me to, yeah, to I don't keep think up. You put two Sarahs on the board or let you even <laughs> yeah. slide them in. Yeah, I, I boarded in exactly two Sarahs and got the got the case two Sarahs. So, yeah, that boarding for this matchup was really weird because I was like, I don't think you ha you can keep Urnum in because you just have not have enough stuff to like cut or too much stuff to bring in. But then I was like, I think I have to keep two swords just to like keep two swords and balance just to keep you honest. I like to keep you guessing, right? Like, yeah, nah, absolutely. Be, uh, elemental blast and everything, but no, no yeah, Urnums. Yeah, yeah. I was on Brain Geyser okay. plan for games two and three, and didn't even yeah. get to pull it off, which I was excited for. But uh, yeah, no, yeah, that was, was a great match, though. Well, yeah, you kept it, Jim, a lot closer than we thought you would at home. We had, we had <laughs> Will as like a eighty-seven favorite, and then you won game one, and you were up a mulligan in game two. You're up six cards to five. We thought you were almost favorite in the match at that point being up a game and up a card in game two on the draw you might have been 52 percent to win good. the match yeah. yeah into the ancestral into the mind twist for my wheel and brain geyser if i'd kept yeah, one yeah. of those like that did, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was good and, and then regret i drew regrowth and demonic tutor and i'm like well now i have too many options like yeah, yeah. what i'm supposed to do no, i've got too many to things to do you need to channel yeah. some of your some of your inner gym from game one because he clearly knows what to tutor and regrowth for at all times. <laughs> yeah, That's why you play absolutely. four recalls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was good good fun to watch. Hell of a match from both of you. Congratulations. Yeah, that was awesome. Hey, congratulations, Thank Jeff, you. for making it this far too. You know? Good hey. good yeah. run. Thrilled, yeah. thrilled to make it this far. Yeah, can't yeah. be mad about yeah, it. Yeah, great run. Every top eight. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Especially with that with traditional uh Urnum bolt. Yeah. Urnum I know bolt. you hate my glasses and yeah. my urnums, but uh, they're, yeah, yeah. they're good, man. -o. We we're, we appreciate your glasses is from a coverage standpoint because <laughs> that's exactly what I said when yeah. you played. Jim was like, "Yeah, Mano's probably giving me shit for this glasses." I'm like, "He probably loves it because now he gets to see what's in my hand." Yeah, it's it helps commentary quite a bit. Out. And I, believe you me, I love glasses. I just I don't have the balls to play them outside of an occasional Tog Berserk deck. But, well, yeah, and I gave you the best sure. glasses possible, Nana. I know. Miss, Cr <laughs> Miss, Miss Cr uh, Crimped Beta Glasses Will gave me a million years ago, and I've only played them, like, once ever, maybe twice ever. But I guess you oh, got to play them in Urnum Ball now. I know. You do. You do. <laughs> so is that the new Tier 1 decks? We have the deck, we have him decks, we have shops, we have 12 Ball, and we have Urnum Ball. Urnum Ball. Yeah. yeah. Class. Sounds about That's right. That's what they say. Yeah. 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 Somebody tell Danny Friedman he's old news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get yeah, your glasses absolutely. before they get bought out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you. Congratulations. Have a great night. Uh, Sounds good. Mano, that was a lot of fun. It good, was. Good match, Mano, yeah. if you've still got absolutely. time to get to that beer you were talking about going out to get. I don't think so. I can't. By the time I got there, it would be 9.15, and I'm an old man now. So. All right. Well, then, in that case, everybody, I will uh, – sign off here and thank you all for watching mano thanks as always for being here i i hope we get to do this a little bit more than we did the winter derby i think we only did one there so yeah yeah well, i'm, we'll I'm around there. for the next little while so I, i'm in for the most part thank Rad. you for hosting it's good You're welcome jim have a good night guys take thank care you. bye, bye, -bye. everybody.